what is up guys it is red pete back with you and as you can see i have my little assistant my little lambo with me so as the video description tells you this is my blu-ray pickup for the last few months uh, they're not in any sort of particular order of when i've got them but uh, they do go from before christmas up until pretty much the end of february um so without further ado i'll get on with them i really really wish i hadn't said that but hey ho so the first one in the pile is American Sniper. I've not seen this, but I've heard a lot of really, really, really good things about it. So I'm looking forward to watching that. Next up is Steve Austin, Hunter Kill. I don't know very much about that, but I would say as a wrestling fan, I'm a Stone Cold fan. So this next one, I absolutely love this film. I had to say goodbye to the DVD once I got this. But it was well worth it. And that is from Dust Till Dawn. It's still sealed. I got that from a charity shop. It's been 99p. Next up, uh, another charity shop purchase. And it's one I've never seen. And I've had nothing but grief over a lot from a lot of my friends and even my brother for not seeing this. And that is Labyrinth, starring David Bowie and Jennifer Connolly. So hoping to get that one watched soon. Up next, another charity shop purchase and recommended by uh, my friend Lee is The Jackal, Bruce Willis and Richard Gere, based on the true story, I believe. Um, so, yeah, before I get to watch this, that one, uh, this one, I'll be honest, I got mostly for Kath Catherine Heigl, that is Killers, with her and Ashton Kutcher in it. Uh, next is in between this movie I have the DVD I've seen the film plenty of times I prefer this one a lot more to the second one I thought the second one was uh, pretty crap but uh, yeah that was only 50p from a charity shop so it's got the blu-ray DVD and the digital copy in it so it's uh, it's worth a watch another one to add to my Marvel collection I managed to get Thor, The Dark World, so I just need to get the original Thor on Blu ray now and I've upgraded all my collection. Uh, I've got Transformers, the first one on Blu ray, so when I find the DVD, I can get rid of that one now. I think I've got all the Transformers films on Blu ray now. Uh, next is Insurgent, which is apparently part of the Divergent trilogy uh, series. Sorry. Uh, it's in the funky little slip case. So I haven't watched uh, Divergent yet. But I've heard it's good. So I'll have to watch that and then watch that one after. Uh, the next one uh, is another charity shop purchase. And I was so chuffed that it, I was there when it, you know they had it in. And I just popped in off on the off chance. And it is Supersonic, the story of the band Oasis. Which is... Uh, Obviously, Liam and Noel Gallagher, and the best thing is, not only is it in the funky sleeve, but it's also still sealed. So that will be getting watched pretty soon. Uh, oh, Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. It's got this no uh, 3D and the normal Blu-ray, and that was a charity shop purchase. So. I haven't seen that one yet, so looking forward to watching that. Uh, kicking it, old school still on. Cliffhanger, um, yeah, great film. Uh, was uh, well chuffed to get that one. Up next, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney in Gravity, which I have heard good things about. So again, that's got a funky slip cover on it so look forward to watching that one uh one mel gibson and ray winston from the director of casino royale it's the uh, edge of darkness don't know much about it nuts gave it four stars so should be quite good um end of watch which um don't know much about it, but it got pretty good reviews. Nuts gave it five stars, Guardian gave it four, Times gave it four, and Zoo gave it five stars. So, the two lads, Manx from over here in the UK, 
gave it pretty good ratings so it would appear it is a pretty good film for the boys right speaking of boys next up i went on a bit of a rampage um just before christmas i got all my christmas shopping done had a bit of money left for myself so i decided to upgrade my dvds to blu-rays so i got mrs brown's boys series one series two series three and the christmas specials so yep i've got all those i have watched those all seen them before obviously but i've watched them all again and thoroughly enjoyed them just struggling a bit here with the pile because obviously for a few months there is quite a pile uh from the producers of 300 got immortals with henry cavill in it stephen dorff luke evans mickey rock so blood guts and glamour according to empire so that yeah, could be quite a good watch uh bit of a gamble this one but i've heard that it's quite good i've got tim minchin live on blu-ray so yeah give that a watch at some point yeah uh, nicholas cage film from 2014 and that is Chokarev, I've got it dirt cheap off eBay. Um, comes in the slip cover. I like Nicholas Cage, I know he has done a lot of questionable films, but that one looked quite good, so I grabbed it. Uh, one I got from a charity shop comes in a slipcase and it's still sealed, and that is Frozen. No, not the one with Olaf and Co. It's um, about um, some people who get stuck on a ski lift 100 feet off the ground and nobody knows that they're there so i thought that sounded quite interesting so i grabbed that uh night at the museum ben stiller not much more to say about that good fun sunday afternoon film uh now we're getting into some of the more serious purchases now um so i've got Star Wars The Last Jedi in the Resistance sleeve. I haven't watched it yet. I've watched all the other newer ones. Um, I've watched every single Star Wars film so far. The only one I haven't seen is uh, Solo, but I haven't watched Rise of Skywalker either, sorry. So, yeah. Um, I got Predator 2. I was convinced I had the first one on Blu-ray, but it turns out that I haven't. The last time I'd watched it, I'd watched it on... Uh, good old Netflix. Um, went on a bit of a Keanu Reeves uh, trip after watching uh, the first two John Wicks. Uh, went old school, Point Break, which is just classic Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze, I love that film. And yeah, it's that good even, I'm just decided to chew a paw. And I got Speed, which is another film that I absolutely love with Keanu Reeves in. And so far, I've rounded off the trilogy, you know, John Wick 3, Paddy Bellum, which I have watched. I have now watched all three. Absolutely love them. I have even got my mum onto them. She watched them all on Netflix, and um, she thoroughly enjoyed them, which I wasn't sure if she would, but she did. So that says a hell of a lot about Keanu Reeves. And now we're into sort of, uh, there's a few horrors. And then there's my most recent purchases actually at the end there. So Annabelle, which I have watched and I will admit did make me jump a few times and I enjoyed it. Um, and a lot of people didn't, but I, I did enjoy that. That was a pretty good film. I managed to get a copy of it on Blu-ray. I don't know if I put this in a video before. I'm not sure, but it is still sealed, but I have, I have watched it. I got the DVD of it and then upgraded to Blu-ray. And then I got it chapter two when it came out I have watched this one uh, when I got it so yeah really enjoyed it chapter 2 I know a lot of people didn't like it but I enjoyed it at the new Halloween the uh, latest one the 2018 so I watched that thoroughly enjoyed that I know again a lot of people didn't like it but I enjoyed it 
I thought it was really good. And last, but by no means least, is my most recent purchase. It did have a lovely slip cover with it, but when I took the price stickers off, it also peeled off half of the print on the cover and ruined it. But um, nevertheless, it is an amazing film. And I, I watched it with my friend um, Lee at his house on his Skybox. Absolutely loved it. I know a lot of people slated it. It's Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I, I just thought everything about it was brilliant. I just thoroughly enjoyed it from start to finish. I thought it was a nice twist on, you know, how you sort of watch him slowly just descend into madness, I suppose. And, yeah, I enjoyed everything about it. I thought it was a great film. I know a lot of people didn't like it and have, you know, slated it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was, like I said, a great film. Enjoyed it from start to finish. So that is it uh, for my most recent Blu-rays for the last few months. Um, I thought it was quite a decent haul considering that there was Christmas in between and obviously I had to buy presents and stuff. There may be a couple that I've missed out, um, but, you know, I'm not sure. So, yeah, that'll do it for this video guys keep your eyes peeled there'll be something coming soon i've got my latest wrestling dvd and blu-rays video to do and then i think i might do a video of the my most recent dvd pickups uh, i don't know yet depends on how many there is if it's worth a video but yeah that'll do it for this video guys if you've seen any of the films there that i haven't seen as always please feel free to leave a comment you know let me know what you thought of them if there's any of them there that you haven't seen and you know you're curious about like i said before just you know ask me and i'll give you my honest opinion if i've seen it um, but yeah that'll do it for this this video guys um as always thank you for taking the time to watch the video thank you for subscribing i've got a couple of new subscribers that's much appreciated up until my next video guys that'll do it and i will see you soon as always, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.